Grammy winner Patton Oswalt is on the case in the new limited series Manhunt as a detective and ex-union spy trying to unravel the conspiracy behind President Lincoln's assassination. Take a look. Well, the question is, Booth is one of the most famous actors in the world. You put a huge reward on his head, so why the hell has no one spotted him yet? And the only explanation is that Booth is being protected by the Confederate Secret Service. Go on. Well, Booth is being shielded by the Confederacy. And did they have a hand in planning it? I mean, who's his contact? Booth is a stuntman. Who produced his stunt? Chow, we'll find out. <laughs> Please welcome Pat Oswalt. Uh, by the way, Joy, I got a weird text from you. Um, <laughs> I, I, I appreciate it, but you know I didn't host the Oscars, right? Yes, I do. I think it was for someone else. I don't know any of the patents. That's the good news. Oh, okay, well, that's good. That is good. Well, let's talk about this because... Why isn't my face on this? <laughs> you said the last time you were here to take it off. Okay, that's... Oh, my gosh. Uh, Patton? Listen, you know, most people learned about Lincoln's assassination on, on a very quick level. They don't yes. really know yeah. all the things that went into this. Tell us about why this is such an interesting mm -hmm. piece. Yeah, that's you're, the way you just described it. it uh, when I learned about the Lincoln assassination, Booth shot Lincoln. Then they caught Booth. Then they killed Booth. That's yeah. kind of what yep. I know. Yep. Yeah. I did not know it was this massive of a disaster oh, yeah. where Lincoln was not the only assassination that they there were two other attempted yes. Yes. coordinated assassinations yes. and then there was this kind of race against time mm -hmm. that if Booth had managed to get back down to the Confederacy right. he was going to go down there say I have killed Lincoln let's restart the Civil War and they would have restarted it. Yes. Yeah. We were yeah. on the brink and yeah. so it really the, the series gives you that weird sense of people running to catch up with history as yep. it's just unraveling right in front of them. Yeah. And his leg was broken because he broke his leg jumping down off the stage. Off the stage. That's what, the here's, theater. okay, here's, not, not to be a history nerd, but do, uh, do. this is some, I, that's what I thought happened. He broke his leg later um, falling off a horse. horse. He didn't that's break right. it um, on the right. stage. But he broke it later. But, but, but I always thought he'd broken it on the stage. No, he fr You know what? Somebody <clears throat> said he fractured it. Yeah. And when he when he fell off the horse, that it was a full facilitated. Break. Look, I was there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting. And I we were waiting. Happened. Yeah. She was warming up for the play. <laughs> Still very bitter about that. <laughs> no, I, yeah. Th th this is fantastic yeah. because. Any history nerd or anyone that wants to know about history mm -hmm. is gonna love this. Yeah. Yes. I loved it. It explores also the deep divisions and hostility that existed in this country during and after, right? Oh the Civil boy. War. Yeah. Yes, Nikki Haley, the Civil War was in fact about slavery. <laughs> I think you'll agree. Um, so. God, I hope she watches. <laughs> Just to learn a little bit. Yeah. Um, you say a lot of those themes are still relevant today. Um, weirdly enough, yeah. Uh, it, here, here's what's, here's what's kind of uh, reassuring about watching a show like Manhunt, is that we have, we have been way closer to the brink mm -hmm. than we are now. I think that right now, the way that the, 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 the news portrays things, because a lot of times you are being exposed to the news business rather than the news. And the news yes. business is yes. about getting eyes on that screen. Right. Mm. So they do have to make it seem like there's no way back from this. Yeah. But we've been way closer. closer, leaning over the abyss, and we've pulled ourselves back with way less technology and knowledge than we yeah. have now. But and it's I the think the technology that, itself that makes it just as bad in many ways. Yes, exactly. But also, any technology has its good use, yeah. its malign use, and then, oh, whoops, you know, you can use an ax to cut wood and build a fire. You can also drop it and cut your foot off, and you can murder someone with it. So it depends yeah. on how you use that technology. Mm. And this especially, mm. when you watch Manhunt, you see that, oh, any new technology can be misused, can be, yep. and, and right now we have the chance, I think, to use technology which, yes, has 
kind of messed things up yeah. in a lot of ways um, to once again pull us back to the, yeah. from the mm -hmm. brink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you were also watching the Oscars. You mentioned you didn't host it, for anyone that's confused. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Um, that was Jimmy Kimmel. Yes. But when uh, Jimmy Kimmel <laughs> shot back at Trump's review of his performance, that was a highlight for joy. Oh, Many yeah. of us laughed. What did you think of that? I loved it, but part of me is a little bit worried because let's all remember that Trump's supervillain origin story <laughs> happened at the correspondence yes, dinner yes. when yes. Obama and Seth Meyers were ripping into him. And yeah. all I saw when they cut to all of the A-listers laughing, that is going to be a <laughs> gallery of faces in his head mm. every night, like, I must get vengeance. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, it was brilliant. Um, but uh, uh, Jimmy, you may have doomed us to uh, failure. All right, anyway, but no. He's very thin, he's very thin skinned. He, he cannot take a joke. He, he, he is only thin dish skin. it out. All he knows how to do is dish it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And, and, and again, if, if you want to dish it out, you can dish it out all you want as long as you, you can, can take, take it, take it, it back. back. Exactly. Exactly. And he it sounded oh. cannot. And so I'm wondering, again, yes, that was a great moment, but as they cut to all those faces, I'm like, oh my God, that is going to become Donald's dark motivational. <laughs> that's his fuel. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be his fuel. fuel. Well, I, Pat, and I have to ask you, you're having a very busy month. Uh, you were just playing, uh, you're playing Paranormal Librarian in the new Ghostbusters yeah. movie, yes. uh, Frozen Empire. <laughs> So excited about this. So it brings back some of the original Ghostbusters, including Dan Aykroyd. We have a clip. Oh, oh. That orb is a magical prison for a phantom god. His plan was to raise an army of the undead and wage war on humanity by channeling fear into a weapon. The death chill. The power to kill by fear itself. A cold shiver runs down your spine. Your veins turn to rivers of ice. Your bones crack. Your lungs cave. And the last thing you see is your own tear ducts freezing up. So cool. <laughs> I love it. Amazing. I love it already. Yeah. There's wow. just never enough time with you. No, there really isn't. You should you know? bring me in to just co-host a whole episode. Yeah, Shall we do that? I'll do a quick You know, it could be Guy Day Monday, too. Yeah, yeah. Or Monday. Yeah. Just say it, just so we both get, because I'm not here on Fridays, right. and oh, Joy's right. not here True. on Mondays. Uh, so. I, mean, I gotta come midweek. I gotta yeah. have both you guys here. Yes, I yeah. think yeah. so. Yeah. Listen, good. Manhunt premieres on Apple TV Plus on Friday, and Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is in theaters nationwide and IMAX on March 22nd. And go to our website for information on Patton's new comedy tour, Patton. Oswald Effervescent. <laughs> <laughs>